Hey everyone, how's it going? Nexty is here bringing you guys a quick video to confirm here that there are multiple Diablo projects in the works. So I'm going to show you guys the video here. It's only a minute long. Then we're going to get into some discussion and speculation. So here's the video. I'll see you guys in a second. Greetings, heroes. I'm community manager Brandy Camel, also known as Nevalistus. On behalf of the Diablo team, welcome back to Sanctuary for our newest season. For those of you still rocking your heroes in Reaper of Souls, you might have noticed we did something a little bit different for Season 14. Theme Seasons. The Season of Greed is our first theme season, and we plan to explore additional themes in the future. If you'd like to know more, click the link in the video description below. We'd also like to let you know that the forges here at Blizzard are burning hot, and we have multiple Diablo projects in the works. Some of them are going to take longer than others, but we may have some things to show you later this year. We hope you stay tuned while we work to bring these Diablo experiences to life. None of this would be possible without the support that you've shown us for over 20 years. So whether you first joined us in D3 or you're a seasoned veteran, thank you. Diablo is and always will be part of Blizzard's identity and we can't wait for the future. All right, my friends, I hope you guys are hyped up. I know some of you might be a little worried, skeptical because of the history of Diablo since Diablo 3 came out. But honestly, I have some hope. I had some last BlizzCon and then it was completely snuffed out when there was not a single thing released. Nothing, no announcements, no speculations, nothing. Just Diablo 3 was like non-existent. So it really killed any hope I had. I really thought that Blizzard gave up on Diablo after seeing how bad Diablo 3 was. Like it's still a pretty good game. It's just when you go from Diablo 2 to something like Diablo 3 and you see how thousands and thousands and thousands of your fans were utterly disappointed, it's really hard to come back from something like that. And not to get philosophical here, but I hear this quote all the time. Whenever you, It's not about how hard you fall, it's about getting back up. And it's really important here. And I mean, it's no surprise that Blizzard is, uh, you know, coming back with something strong, hopefully. I just hope they are not playing it up here and it's going to just turn out to be another DLC pack. If it is, I'm going to be very disappointed. But what's really important here is a few things that uh, Brandy mentioned was, first of all, multiple Diablo projects are in the works so it could be a character dlc pack for diablo 3 just to keep us interested while we wait for the real project which she did mention some are going to take longer than others i mean that sounds very basic and obvious but i think it's important that the fact she even mentions this really says that they're working hard on something and they're also going to work on something that's also a little bit easier to kind of keep us interested that's how i'm reading into that maybe i'm reading too much into what she's saying and her wording choices but i really think that's what's going to happen so here's what I think is going to happen here with the multiple projects. First of all, I don't think it will be an expansion. I'm expecting Blizzard to make a whole new Diablo game. Not only has it been six years since Diablo 3, but on top of that, a lot of players are not a fan of the current gameplay of Diablo 3. Making an expansion or a DLC is not going to change the way that Diablo 3 fundamentally works. So I'm expecting Blizzard to, okay, you know, we're going to keep Diablo 3 alive. We're going to keep doing the new seasons. We're going to keep doing DLC packs or whatever, but we are going to make a another Diablo game. We are going to right the wrongs that fans were utterly disappointed with in 2012 when we announced this game or released this game. So I think Blizzard is going to make a completely new Diablo game. I don't know if it's going to be Diablo 4 or whatever they're going to call it, but I think it's going to be a sequel or whatever. And I think it's going to be a close edit of Diablo 2 and Path of Exile. I've seen the discussions over the years. I barely even tune into Path of Exile. I don't, like, I've only made it to Act 2, but I see discussions all the time on Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 related videos. Players in the action RPG community are always comparing Diablo with Path of Exile. And Path of Exile is one of the most, if not the most popular ARPG right now. I actually don't know. I've been out of the loop with that kind of stuff in a long time. So I don't know what one's the most popular. But I know Path of Exile is definitely one of the best for sure. I hear players always talking about it, even years after it's been released. So what I think Blizzard is going to do here is they're going to try and redeem this franchise. They're going to try and redeem themselves. They have seen years and years and years of feedback about how players were disappointed with Diablo 3 and why, and why players love Diablo 2. So I really believe that Diablo or Blizzard is going to make another Diablo game completely different from Diablo 3. It's not going to be an expansion, it's not going to be a DLC. I think it's going to be a new game and it's going to be close to Diablo 2 and Path of Exile. That seems to be what everyone's playing currently and what everyone wants to continue playing. So that's what I'm expecting to see um, at BlizzCon or whenever they release it, but that's my main speculation. 
As for the other projects, there are a couple other options I could see, and that is Diablo as an MMO. I really don't think this one will happen, but I do want to mention it as a possible option, but I just don't think it will happen. MMOs are just declining over the years. They're not as popular as they used to be. It's too much time requirement, too much grinding. A lot of players still kind of play MMOs. Heck, I even still play World of Warcraft, but that's mostly because I grew up with it, so I have like a big attachment to it, and it's a uh, universe uh, with the orcs, the humans, the dwarves, the night elves from Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 2. So I don't really necessarily play World of Warcraft specifically because it's an MMO. I just grew up with the game and I still enjoy it, so therefore I'm just still playing it. However, overall, uh, MMOs just take up so much time, and we as we have seen the evolution of gaming uh, in the last couple years. Players are more interested in faster-paced games, specifically PvP games as well. We're starting to see PUBG, we're starting to see Fortnite, uh, Overwatch. These games are really taking off. League of Legends as well. So PvP is becoming more prominent. But at the same time, uh, we're not talking about a PvP game here. Diablo is not a PvP game. Uh, but I still think an MMO is off limits. I just would be completely surprised if they decided to do that especially with World of Warcraft already uh, with them in their business with the subscription base. So I would be surprised if they did a second MMO. Very unlikely, in my opinion. So, because that's unlikely, I think it's going to be a whole new Diablo game, as I explained earlier. And for the little projects, I'm assuming it's going to be a little project, I'm expecting either Diablo 2 Remastered or a DLC pack for Diablo 3. Now, I would very much prefer Diablo 2 Remastered, but the reason why I would be surprised about this one as well is because uh, there was an interview many, many months ago, which I actually covered in one of my Warcraft 3 videos months ago. Um, Pete Stilwell kind of gave us an... Uh, some information and some insight on the background of how they do things and basically before they remaster a game like Starcraft they go back and they do balance changes they change the maps they update the game so it can run better in current operating systems in 2018 you know they update the game so it's workable in the current times because our computers are so much different now with the operating systems uh, the processors and everything sound cards you guys remember Warcraft 1 please insert your sound card or whatever it was back then I remember those days so what I really think is going to happen here is they're busy working on Warcraft 3 unless they have a separate team working on Diablo 2 remastered because right now I'm pretty sure I'm like 90% sure Warcraft 3 is currently going to be remastered not Diablo 2. I think this because they are doing the balance changes right now. They're doing map changes, map pool changes. They're doing tournaments all of a sudden. They're updating the game so it fits a full resolution, right? They're doing all these updates and te technological stuff uh, to the game. So I think they're doing all that first to Warcraft 3. Then they're going to remaster Warcraft 3, which will take quite a long time. Uh, so overall, I really think Warcraft 3 is coming first for that, not Diablo 2. So because of that, I also would be surprised if it was a Diablo 2 remaster, which leaves it down to probably a DLC pack for Diablo 3. I think it's going to be a DLC pack for Diablo 3 to keep us a little bit more interested until we see a reveal or until uh, the new Diablo game releases. So we'll have to see. So I'm banking it on a Diablo 4 similar to Path of Exile and Diablo 2, and I'm also banking on something temporary to keep our uh, lips wet, which would be basically, you know, um, DLC pack or something small like Diablo 2 remastered. If if they have a separate team working on it we'll have to see though overall those are my speculations i would love to hear what you guys think do you guys think i'm on the mark i'm not a professional speculator if that's even a thing i don't speculate often i'm not experienced in this this is just my thought process so i'm not a professional or good at this stuff at all that's just my guess but i'd love to hear what you guys think i'm just a random diablo passionate gamer like you guys so i hope i relate to you guys in that sense but let me know what you guys think what do you guys hope it is what do you guys think it's going to be keep in mind it is multiple diablo projects at first we thought it was one when we saw the job listings many months ago, but it turns out they have multiple Diablo projects, which gives us a lot of hope because if it was just one and it turned out to be a DLC pack, well, our hope goes right down the drain once again. But because it's multiple, I have a lot of hope going into this year's BlizzCon. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this speculation video and I'll see you next time.